In this video, we're going to look at how to adjust page margins and page orientation within Microsoft Word. Now to start, we need some content. So I'm going to just type equals Rand. I'm going to do 5 and 20. And that's going to give me, actually, let me do that backwards. Let me do 20 and 5 and then hit the enter key. What that's going to give me is that's going to give me 20 paragraphs with 5 uh, sentences each. Okay, so now we have some content to look at. Now, if we come up here to layout, we can see margins here. Now, with margins, my default margins are set to one inch by one inch. Watch what happens if I make them my last custom setting, or narrow, you notice, which are the same. So I'll do narrow, and it will adjust the content to a half inch margin. You can see that right up here. So not only can I use these default margins, but I can actually come into custom margins. And let's say that I want a one inch top margin, a bottom margin of half an inch, and then I'm going to do a one inch left and a half an inch right. Not that I would set it this way, but just in this example. Let me go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, we have that narrow margin there. We have the narrow bottom, we have the wide left and wide top. Now let me go back and adjust those a little bit with some custom margins. Now I also want to show you that there is this gutter. So if you plan, let me go ahead and just make this 0.5. We'll go back to narrow. If I want to add a gutter to the left, now a gutter, if you're going to three hole punch, good idea to add a gutter. And if you notice down here, it shows you what it's adding. So there's me adding a half inch gutter so that I can go ahead and three hole punch. It's applying this to the whole document and I'm going to choose OK. So there we are again. There's our whole document. Now quickly, let's look at page orientation. If you notice by default, my pages are oriented into, it's easier to see if I do this, portrait view. Now I can go ahead and change that to landscape and now I have landscape. Now in a separate video, I'm gonna show you how to change just one page to landscape, leaving the rest in portrait. So look for that video as, as well. Take care.